how long obviously the tricks take you a while but are you getting like one clip a day or are you getting like multiple clips a day when you're doing stuff like that flip video it yeah. was because the door opened you know any 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 it would have been harder if i went and do, did like a vert part you know i'd have to go back and like okay what did i not you know, yeah, yeah. not uh, not do this is like yeah. a whole new so now it's a whole new so it's like Free back in the little kid counting one two three four new tricks a day yeah. right? like, <laughs> you know and there's this is the it's exciting right? right it's like oh this new thing oh you know so then i'm like first i did kickflip indie 50 50s you know like i did kickflip mute board slides i did all that like to kind of like feeling it out you're yeah, grabbing it safer. yeah and it's like okay yeah this is cool but like it'd be much cooler if i didn't grab right. you know or, <laughs> right. you know and then did you ever wax the wheel no, we just paint it. We do that the the coping Pick paint. Coat? Yeah, mm. yeah, okay. like same coping paint, and then it kind of good slide. Oh. Um, so then you know that when I did the tray flip board, it was like it just ha I would flip the board, and then the rails right there. So it just became a little easier. So once I did that, that was the first you know trick of the rail uh, filming, and okay. then it was just like blah, 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 blah. I'd think of stuff and just do it, do it, do it. Keep skating, and switch back tails, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, then all those <laughs> right. Those, those board, that board that you skate, I I, tr I did a tray flip on one on flat ground. Uh -huh. That thing is one of the hardest things to even ride. Yeah, it, I mean, it, <laughs> on the <laughs> slow trucks. and on the flat ground, it's tough. But when you're going fast, then it becomes a street board. Oh and yeah. Like, the vert when you're like the mega ramp when you go off the the 70 foot like when you go 20 plus feet <laughs> the quarter pipe feels like a vert ramp oh uh, okay because now you're like it's the timing and how fast you go through a transition mm -hmm. when you're going really fast it shortens the size of it yeah so it kind of makes it i mean it's scary hairy but then it's like oh this is a little bit more familiar like it's like you know so the slower you go on it then it's just this like uh, uh, ginormous yeah, yeah. wall that you're exactly. trying to climb so if you do a kick turn it's like oh my god yeah you know gotcha. you go really fast the speed just kind of e e it evens everything it evens out a little bit right? yes oh. so oh. what size board is the mega ramp board that you skate Listen, if this was a Bucky Lassick interview, he would give you the exact details. Exact, you know, he's got the race car <laughs> material base, yeah, yeah. everything. Yeah. But I, you know, I know zero. <laughs> if it feels good. You're gonna ride. I'm like, it. you know, like, oh, what's the interview? Like, oh, I'm like, I put it on, and you know, it's it's good. Oh, this board doesn't feel good, and then oh, let me get another board. Okay. You know, if okay. anything, Danny, like, you know, he figured out that size, and I'm like, oh, let me rock that, and then oh, this feels good. Yeah. You know, wow. so I think it's an eight and a half because it, you know, put. I don't know the size of it. It's a little bigger than the regular board. A mm, little taller. Yeah, a little yeah. taller, and oh. then so the width is about the same. And then uh, tightest trucks of all time. Tightest, <laughs> tightest trucks as could be. There's no turning. <laughs> no yeah. turning. Right? Zero. It's just gotta accept wobbling. Yeah. You know, wobbles are a part of skate, like of mega ramp. Gotcha. There is no. Let me tighten it up so I don't wobble. No. Let me tighten it up so I don't wobble and slam. Yeah. But you gotta accept the wobble. Hmm. You know, yeah. it's like accept it. And and then you know it's just it is what it is. And 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 Crazy. then uh, and then you handle it. But I tried dropping out of my bowl and and when I was if we want to go in the Grand Canyon. Yeah. So when I was uh, getting ready for the Grand Canyon, I'm like, okay, I got this board. I got a parachute on my back. Uh, how weird is this going to feel? Am I going to be able to skate? You know, you so throw your weight off. Yeah, throw yeah. my weight off. Da, da, da. So like I put the base rig on uh, and then I went to drop in on my vert bowl with my mega board. This is my mega board. This is what I'm going to use the Grand Canyon. Da, da. Uh. You know, I dropped in and then like slammed. Oh, because I dropped in as a bowl. So I dropped in. I wanted to like, you know, yeah. oh, there yeah. is no Your weight turning. distribution yeah. was all yeah. off. And, and, and it's it's just designed to go straight. So when I w like went to put my body to turn, I just like it went oh. down. Right. So I'm like, oh, okay, there's no turning in this thing. <laughs> you know, so that board doesn't work. So I grabbed the regular board, did some kick turns just to feel the, the base rig on my back. And then... Uh, and I would do these like medicine ball practices, like, you know, stability with the base, or trying to like kind of like just get my brain in the fact that I have this. Right. Maybe overboard, but when you're doing like I don't think it's overboard. Something at on all. that level, you yeah. need your brain to go through those those processes and, and you know, you need to think about what you do will kill you if you don't, you know, yeah. do the yeah. right thing. You know, and that's the reason why I wore a full face helmet. I mean you you're know, jumping into the Grand Canyon. Bro. And you have a yeah. rail and you have an issue of of, wind uh, of of that but then you have the issue of like if you bail like if i got an open you know face helmet or whatever and then i go to try the trick and i don't hit it and then i hit my oh. face or my chin on the yeah. rail i'm getting knocked out that's oh. right and i'm dead because that's right. it's a few seconds and and you know i might wake up in a bit i'll be on the ground already you know by the time i wake up oh my so gosh. then that's was like okay full face 
right? And and then, uh, but I, what I did, so, okay, I got the gear and I'm all, I'm all good to go. Um, so we're hanging out at the uh, Hellhold Bend, is what it was the, the, the area, is the Navajo Nation. <laughs> we dealt with them, you know, trying to get the permission. Same spot where Travis Pastrana did his first backflip. Sure. Like, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was, you know, it, it was kind of like inspired by that, you know, mm. and going like, I want to do it on skateboard. And mm -hmm. I don't want it just to be a launch ramp because anyone can go out there and skates and base jumps and just kind of woo, launches fly over off, and fly okay. off the yeah. thing. So I wanted to add some tech. And the only thing I could think of was like, we were skating mega ramp all the time. I was like a mega rail, even a mega launch with a little bit of speed. Anyone can really go and then you flail out. And, sure. But to get on the rail to like, then it takes a certain, I didn't want anyone Skill. else to go out, you know, and, yeah. and yeah. be able to, to, to replicate it in a sense. You right. Know? Nowadays, I think Mitchie Brusco is one that could because mm. he's a great skydiver, a great, you know, mm. uh, wind, uh, wind tunnel flyer. So he's like really good at, at flying. Oh, wow. Okay. And he skates mega. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so we do jumps together. I mean, he's like really talented on, on, you know, on, and I think that's one of the reasons he's so aware because it helped me out a lot when skydiving and skateboarding just spatial Ways awareness, yeah. you know, yeah. 3d what's going on around and. Maybe why I land on my feet, you know, like when I come around. Just, so, but that's, you know, once I was hanging out in this uh, area and it was like snowing, wind, like constantly mm. all week when, you know, again, Tim Payne. You had everything set crew, up. We're out there setting it up, you know, mm. we're hanging out and they're building the ramp on the spot and it's raining, it's snowing. Oh, no. And then it's this, and they're, and they're like, man, I was like, just keep building because that, you never know, right? The day yeah. I was just like, I'm not going to, you just keep building. Right. You know, and they had never done anything like it, obviously, and neither had I, and I don't know where to put the rail. And, you know, so we kind of put the mm. ramp on the ground, just like the, the radius of the thing. And then the radius of the rail, like, okay, that sounds like, a, you know, that looks like kind of could work. And then, okay, build it like that. You really you know? test it out. No, yeah, you don't. So. There's no. <laughs> so <laughs> they put my parachute on. Right. Yeah. And, and, and so we do all that. And then they're like, I'm like, how are you going to put it out there? I was like, oh, we're just going to build some tracks. And then, you know, we're going to build the launch. And then when you're ready to go, we're going to push it out as far out. Because I needed to be as far out as possible. Because the, cliff, the, cliff, yeah. the cliff was like, it had the, the death bank, which goes forward like this. And then base jumping, I would never run and base jump that cliff. Because I wouldn't be able to, you I would like wall. hit you wouldn't, the wall. You would clear yeah. it. Yeah. You wouldn't clear and, it. Yeah. And, you know, we test by throwing a rock. You know, you go, one, <laughs> two, crash. And I was like, ooh, that's not good. <laughs> yeah. I throw it again. One, two, crash. And I'm going like, and then the guy was with me and like, uh, Charles Bryan helped me out. Skydiver Flyboy is awesome dude. Helped me out a lot. And then the guy who was doing the, the discovery, it was doing the, the host was Jeb Corliss. And he's an incredible base jumper, you know, and, but he was like, we threw the rock. He's just like, dude, I wouldn't jump here, you know? And I'm going like, well, I'm going to be on a board and I'm going to be flying. I, this is a mega, so I know I'm going to be going forward speed a lot. Mm -hmm. So I'm, and he, everyone around me, like at that place was like, don't do it. Don't really? Oh, whoa. And I, and I, and the only person who wasn't was Charles because he knew and I was just like, dude, let them. Like, it's all good. I know it's going to be fun. So we were both like, you know, because we know. When you know, you know. Right? Okay. Yeah. If yeah, it's yeah. not, I mean, I don't care if the whole world's telling me no. If I know, I'm you, going. Okay. If I don't, I'm not going. And it's just, you know, what's the wind conditions and all that. That's really mm -hmm. the main thing. Right. So, okay, I got speed to go out. You know, it's the rail. We, we can make it over. Does the ramp work? I don't know. Again, Lance. <laughs> Lance is there. Okay. You no, know, the firm got the, the flip. Yeah, right. It was right. There was 2006, so we were like full flip mode. Gotcha. Uh, so they show up, you know. So he's hanging. I love having Lance around for moments like this, and he's always been around. He's been around almost all of, like the Baldy thing. And then okay, the yeah. Thing. So um, I'm out there, and I'm like, okay, it's time to go, right? So like, first, I, I built seven boards exactly the same, right? Because you're gonna lose, you know, every oh. time I go, I'm losing one. So there's only so many attempts, right? Mm -hmm. And but we wake up the night before. I'm doing snow, uh, uh, <laughs> like Sailing snowman. <laughs> my daughter. <laughs> We're doing a snowman at the, like the you know out in uh, Flagstaff. I think it was like where we can like in in, and I'm like okay you know and and let's just see. And then the next day we had the helicopter lined up. We had all that. So uh, I wake up and I look outside and it's like just blue skies zero I mean that didn't happen not once that whole week of building it was just all wild huh. wind snow 
right? And like just madness, right? And then it just wakes up like everything falls in place. No wind, oh. right? And if there is any wind towards the face of the thing, no go. No go. There's all these like we're, we're just check mark, right? Like mm-hmm. I'm not going. Variables. I'm, I'm not yes. gonna die. I want to yeah. have fun. So, you know. So let me let, let's and so and it all just lined up. Crazy. And then they push the ramp out, you know. And then now, you know. I'm on the top of the rolling, and it's like, okay, you said you're gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, and now or never. Again, all the cameras, the production, you, know, you can kind of put yourself in those places, and you gotta yeah, know it's coming. What was this right? for? Was it for this uh, was for the Discovery Channel? Oh, it's gonna, they yeah, had this uh, show called Stunt Junkies. Yes, and that's right. I remember the call was like. Because first, I mean, I had to, you know, give the idea to all this, you know. And like, sure. So, and the guy's like, oh, yeah, we want you in, da, da, da. What do you want to do? And I'm like, oh, I'm going to put this ramp out on the rail and around the Grand Canyon. And, you know, You're and like, there was perfect. like kind of silence like, in the call. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, okay. You know what I mean? like, And I'm like, all right, they bit, you know. And like, uh, so I started designing things, started tri- tripping out, figuring out how I would, you know, pull it together or whatever. Okay. But then all that passed, right? The yeah. phone call, we're up. Now I'm on the top of the roll and, and it's real, right? It's Are like... You- scared at all or no i'm just i can't wait to go but i want to make sure it works like i don't know if i'm gonna <laughs> like you can't make, ra- make sure it works you can't that, that i can hit the rail and not like uh overshoot it or or hit it hit oh, the yeah, rail. Yeah, 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 yeah because the way i built it instead of doing it like uh like this so that i would have the error and hit that uh-huh. i just kind of pull the the thing all the way down so the ramp's like so the rail comes up so anywhere i go i'm gonna like keep going so i did like if a you could bounce off of it if anything off and and, smart, and, and, smart, and keep smart, going smart, so man. i was like okay let's do that so i put it in the, this place and i when i looked on the ground i kind of aligned it but i wasn't really thinking uh of the ramp or the ollie that I needed to be above it. I just kind of like was thinking like just straight into it. So right when I rolled in, I looked at it and I tried to ollie up and it just didn't go. So I kind of like went to the side of it and then grabbed, like kind of like got my shoulder around the thing and it like whipped Oh, me around. What do you mean? You, you were trying to hold on to the rail? Like no, I don't want to go. I was on it. So I had tried to get out, but my arm was already there. So it kind of like, Grabbed the rail and then like flipped me and like almost pulled my shoulder out. So oh that, my was my, that was my that was my parachute point. I didn't think of that, you know. Uh, yeah. and, and and I just kind of like went vroom, vroom, did a, like a roll and then like tracked out and pulled the parachute. And and I was just like, oh, I gotta fix the ramp. I got to, you know. So in my in my head, I'm like, we gotta make some adjustments. So but you kind you of a lot of time to think on the way down. Yeah, and, yeah. Right. I was already thinking as I hit that, you know, as I did that in my brain, I was already thinking. Grab my board, go back up on the top. You know, so yeah. it wasn't just a one and done thing. You had seven boards I ready to go. Boards. You had seven attempts. You could do something. So if you just flew over the rail and didn't even touch it, you'd be like, right. oh, go back up, make some adjustments. Exactly. It gotcha. And the first go, I had the helicopter fly right by the rail and then I jumped out, you know, and then pulled my parachute. Because there's also the landing situation. That's mm. street landing, right? So like, <laughs> it's like cactuses, oh, yeah. rocks, Jeez. like, you know, mud. Rattlesnakes. Yeah, there's like no, <laughs> there's no error in like where you end up, right? So I had to can't also get that, you know, so walk every helicopter down, look yeah. around the ground, look, you know, ground. And I was like, okay, I got to do this, 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 that. Okay. my line, you know. And stuff then, going on, Bob. A lot, a lot, you know, and, and uh, but that comes from, I was already a skydiver, had like a few hundred jumps. Okay. And, you know, that yeah. was already in my in my uh, uh it just wasn't a base jumper yet you know i did some about- practice jumps over in idaho where it's legal on that bait on that uh bridge that's legal that people mm-hmm. jump i think i've seen that yeah, yeah i did a bunch of those and i was like okay i got this base rig i mean it's not i mean it's easier than a parachute a little bigger mm. it's like skating a longboard it's like just like whew, nice and floaty and you well because you have less time for the parachute to yeah, do and its you job want it to open and you want it to be nice and so- you know to like easier soft landings because of the base you know because gotcha. you're like landing there in between poles cars like, oh yeah it's yeah, like, yeah yeah so that that situation like so when i landed and figured out oh it's all good it was like a right turn or a left turn on the cactus <laughs> it was like i remember like <laughs> you, had a, yeah. you had your roadmap yeah. Right yeah. Now, yeah. totally and then uh and then it was like okay that we got to fix that so i go and i thought that in my mind i just needed to ollie so i went again without adjusting the ramp and kind of threw a board away in the sense because I knew I had to, you know, I was just like, no, I think I can just, you know, I just wanted to go right away. So I dropped in and tried to ollie. And again, it kind of hit hard, but I didn't, you know, it was like a easier, uh, it was just a bail. Okay. And then boom, lose another board. And I'm like, oh man, I should have just, and I sat down and I got up there and, and Lance was looking at it sideways and we we're just like, man, dude, this is hard. I'm having a hard time. Like, I don't know what to do. And then he was like, why don't you just make that ramp like a foot longer? 
you know, because it just kind of kept the radius going. So now it throws me up a little higher, right? Because it was throwing me here. Then it was a, it was the best solution. That was Lance. You know? Okay. Yeah. I was just like, oh yeah, that could. All right, Tim. Da da da. So they're out there like making the. They couldn't pull the ramp back. So they should make an extension. Yeah, so to then it. they were doing on the spot, like by the, the uh, they're all like the cliff. Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> doing that thing, and and so they made the ramp longer, and then I went again, and it got myself on the rail. But then when I pu- jumped off, it really it wasn't the way I wanted it. And I got fifty fifty. I would I kind of like popped out. And yeah, I wanted to like, and then keep going as far as I could with, with the board. Yeah. 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 So then the the camp the the discovery guys. Once I got on the rail, they're like trying to get the, yeah, he's got it. They wrap the thing. I was like, no, I didn't get it. No, even like they're trying to, you know, finish do the their show. show. Like, do yeah. the end of the show. And yeah. I was like, no, dude, it's not. I have to go again. It's not done. You know? And they're like, oh, okay. They're worried, you know? And I'm, and I'm just like, no, let's do I have to do it again. I have to do it again. So then I went again and then got it, you know, perfect. Popped out. Held it for a, I think I could have held it longer now and then, and then popped out. Got it. And then in my mind, obviously, I'm like, okay, cricket grind, Smith grind. I wanted, oh, to, you wanted to keep going. Yeah. I wanted this day not to end, yeah, yeah. right? Switch and these guys tail. are like, <laughs> you're going to die if you go again. And I'm like, Jeez. no, this is the funnest day of my life. Let me go. But then they're like, no, shut down the helicopter guy. And then, uh, and then that was that. That was it. You couldn't yeah. do any more. That uh-huh. was it. Were you packing your own shoots or someone no, else? No, I had, I had Jeb and Charles. Okay. They're better at it, and you know, and I trust them more than I trust myself wow. in that situation. So it's your and, lifeline, yeah, yeah. And 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 there was a scary moment on on that because Charles was he was jumping with an IMO, which is a the thirty five millimeter camera, but okay. like the mini. Mm-hmm. So it's like not full. It's like a portable thirty five, which back then it was like yeah. so he did like base jumps with this thing in his head, and it's like so heavy. Yeah. So we're trying to get a shot, and we do this helicopter jump, uh, but you know the bank is like this and then we're on the helicopter so i just jump straight down i know the bank is there he wants to get a shot of me beside you yeah yeah like to get he's close to the wall then but so he does this mini jump backwards Mm -hmm. and it kind of carries 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 and he's filming me and then he looks and he sees the he's about he's gonna hit oh my god so then he he pulls the parachute real quick and like and gets him out of the you know and then we were both because i saw it you know i'm like you know and we got on the ground and then i pulled him aside i didn't want it to be you know yeah big thing i was like He's like, you could have died. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> you know? And then we're like, Phew. okay, like, you know, that that was uh, one of the scary moments that that Oof. you know situation there. But then, then it was all gold.